Excel can be used for numerical integration. Suppose we have this integral to calculate, but, but this one doesn't have a simple algebraic solution, and the solution would be a series. In such cases, you can use numerical integration instead. So I would open a new workbook in Excel, and in the first cell I would type angle in degrees. Angle in radians, and here I would type one, enter two. Now select these two cells and click and drag this autofill handle up to 360. up to 361, so I would have 360 for my angles. Now here I would convert these angles from degrees to radians, because when I'm using uh, trigonometric functions in Excel, I need to have the angles in radians, not in degrees. So here I would type equal sign, radians function, open the parenthesis and the syntax appears here, select this cell, close the parenthesis, enter. So now I have converted 1 degrees to radians. If you double click on this autofill handle, it would can repeat the calculation for others. Now in this cell I would type function. So this is a function I'm gonna write here. So equal sign 1 plus 2 times sign open the parenthesis select this cell the caret letter to close the parenthesis and enter and again double click on this autofill handle and the calculation would be repeated so now i'm gonna plot this function with respect to angle so click on insert tab Select chart, select this scatter with a smooth line, and you would see mm, my plot is ready here. You can make sure that it is taking the correct data, so select data, right click on the chart and select data, edit. For x values, make sure to select this column. For y values, as you can see, the correct column is selected. Click OK, again OK, and the plot is ready. Now I'm going to add access title to my chart. Click on this green, si green uh, cross sign, access title. Now here you can type magnitude. In arbitrary units angle in radians now if you right click on one of the numbers on y-axis you would be able to format axis so on this window you can set the minimum and maximum numbers on y and y axis set the units major and minor units you can adjust the where you want to this um, y axis cross the horizontal axis
so you can adjust it here you can add tick marks major and minor tick marks inside or outside or cross the cross type so i close this window now i'm gonna use this numerical integration and find the find the solution for my integral if you look at this zoomed in view of the plot as you know integral is the area under the curve so the area between the curve and the x-axis would give you the integral now we have positive integral and negative integral I have divided uh, this area to these orange rectangles if you calculate the area of this orange rectangle you can get an approximate value for the entire integral uh, and then you need to add these areas together so what is the dimensions for this rectangle I have x1 and x2 I also have y1 and y2 for these two points so I can calculate this height and this width. So the width would be x2 minus x1. And this height would be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So I would have this equation for the area of one of these rectangles. So I can use the data point that I have and calculate the area of the each of these rectangles and then add all of them together. Now here I would type area of each rectangle and in this cell I would type equal sign, open the parenthesis, this is x2 minus x1, close the parenthesis, multiply by mm, open the parenthesis and then y2 plus y1 close the parenthesis divided by 2 enter now double click on this auto field handle and if you scroll down you can see we also have these negative numbers which refers to the part of the plot which is below the x-axis now here I want to make sure all the numbers are good this last one if you click on this formula bar you can see it is selecting these blank cells so which is not correct so I would delete this last cell now I can here in this cell I would type integral so it is numerical integral it is not accurate but it is very close numerical integral and in this so I would type equal sign sum open the parenthesis and the syntax appears here select this column close the parenthesis then enter so it would return 7.5 as the numerical integral of my function between 0 and 2 pi notice that we want to calculate the integral between 0 and 2 pi so in this calculated value we are missing this part from 0 to 1 so I'm gonna insert a new row here now here I would enter 0 I would drag this autofill handle upward and here I have radians of 0 the function 
for input 0 and the area between 0 and 1 here and here I'm gonna type equal sign sum open the parenthesis and select this column Now close the parenthesis, enter. Notice that my integral is uh, a little um, larger than the previous one because this time I'm also including this part. So this is the correct value. I would delete this one. So this is the numerical integral between 0 and 2 pi for this function.